Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is David and in this video I will show you an expansion for an old classic Tobacco and that is the expansion Volcano, which puts a volcano on the island and also some lava that will spread across the island. So please let me show you how it's played. For this video I will only focus on the expansion, which is a small but fun one. And there's really not that much in the box. There's of course the volcano made of the same material as the statues, so very nice. And you put it somewhere in the middle of the island, but if you played some games you're also of course allowed to place it anywhere on the island. We have the lava tiles, we have four clue playboards, and we have starting hexes. At the start of the game each player will get one of these, and you have to match one side with the matching terrain type, then you will put the lava next to it on the island itself and the third spot you will put into the ocean. So the island will become a little bit uh, bigger. So for instance I can put this beach over the beach, then this one will go over the other island tile, hexagon, and this new spot will be in the ocean and that's where you put your starting rover. So for another example the yellow player will cover the river with this space and thus using the lava to cover another space on the island, in this case the beach. And the forest space will be in the ocean and that's where his ranger will start. So that's to start the game. Then play will continue as normal. However, in the base game you are not allowed to place a clue card that either contradicts with the card already in play or that does not narrow down the location of the treasure. In this case, however, you are allowed to do so. So, for example, this treasure says it is not next to a hut. This time I can place a card over here that says the treasure is next to a hut. But if you do so, you have to cover the clue with one of these four tiles. This tile said it is next to the volcano. This tile says it is not next to the volcano. This tile says it is next to a lava space. This tile says it is not adjacent to a lava space. So you pick one of them and you put it on top of the card, the illegal card you just played. And of course you're going to place your marker on that tile. So now we can also use the volcano and the lava tiles to determine where the treasure will be. It's even possible to have two of these tiles on the same treasure. When we dig up the treasure, this tile will return to the supply and you can use it for another or a new treasure to determine where it will be. But how do we get to the lava tiles? You can pick a lava tile when you pick up an amulet. So maybe we had a treasure then the amulets will spawn, they will not spawn in lava, they will skip the lava and if the lava was over here it would skip the lava tiles, also it can go through the volcano but for example this amulet, lucky me, will be here and then this one will turn and this amulet will arrive here and this one will turn. When you pick up an amulet You get to take one lava tile and you can place it on the board. It has to be adjacent either to the volcano or to another lava tile. You can even put it over here. You are not allowed to place it on ATVs. You are not allowed to place it on amulets. And you are not allowed to place it on the statues because those are rock and don't burn. But you can put it over a hut or over a palm tree as long as it's adjacent to another lava tile or the volcano and then those will be removed from the board. And you can also use this in your advantage because you can put it over treasure markers. For instance, if there are only two treasure locations left, you can choose to put the lava tile, as long as it's adjacent to another lava tile or the volcano, onto the space that has the treasure token because this one will be removed because the treasure can never be on a lava tile. Now there's only one space left and hey, it's next to me, so good for me. That's how to use the lava in your advantage. You can also 
kind of attack your opponents because to cross lava you need to spend an amulet you are not allowed to drive through lava for free also even if you pay an amulet you can never end your movement on a lava tile but now this yellow car is locked in it needs to pay one amulet to pass through the lava and it's just you do your normal movement so step one step two or maybe like this step one step two step three and if you don't have an amulet you can still cross the lava but then you have to pay your most valuable treasure card you've already collected and basically that's it keep in mind the treasures however because maybe when you cover up spaces with the lava for instance this area this was the largest grass area but if we put lava over here now this became the largest area so you have to keep track of the treasures if they are still valid if you should manage to shut down an entire type of underground for example you covered all forest then you have to remove all clue cards from the deck that mentions the forest and if there were still cards over here that mentions the forest they get removed from the treasure and the markers will return to their owners and we'll have to figure out where that treasure is based on the cards that are still left and that's it a volcano in the middle and some lava tiles where the players are starting whenever you pick up an amulet that player gets to put another lava tile on the island you can try to use it in your advantage changing the locations of treasures or maybe try to block your opponent by putting lava around their site so during the game more and more lava will appear so it's not that hard or complicated, just a fun little expansion that makes the board more come alive. If you have any questions about this expansion or tobacco in general, please feel free to ask them in the comments below. My name is David, thank you for watching and hope to see you next time.